Hey everyone, my name is Dan Willard and I'm the training specialist at Easy Worship. eGPUs are an excellent addition to your laptop to provide the extra video processing power you need and the extra video outputs you need in a graphics card that are designed for a desktop computer. So today I wanna to show you in as much detail as possible how an eGPU works, how it connects to your laptop, and how it works with Easy Worship. If you'd like to follow along with us and replicate everything we're doing here, here's a list of everything you need. Okay, let's get to the unboxing. So this is the Razer Core-X Chroma eGPU. Comes in a little on the heavy side at about 14 pounds, but it is made out of metal, uh, except for the very front side, which is a plastic grate, um, but there's, it's solid. There's no airflow or anything through that. There are airflow um, grates on, the, on each side. On the back side, you have I.O. ports. You have four USB ports, Ethernet port, your Thunderbolt 3 port that connects to the laptop, and then your power supply with the power uh, toggle switch here. It is very easy to take apart. There are no tools needed. You have a handle here that is not a handle for carrying the eGPU. It is for opening the eGPU. It comes with a nice GPU cover. It has a 120 millimeter uh, cooling fan that's situated behind the power supply uh, with all-in-one liquid cooling in mind so that you don't have to modify anything here if you want to use any of those video cards. And on this Chroma, the RGB lights are on the sides here and there's a, a panel on the front as well. And you can use the Razer Synapse app uh, on the PC to adjust the lighting, um, but that is only available in Windows. It does not work in the Mac OS at this time. This does support the triple wide PCI Express uh, video cards standard length. So you can add any of those cards that you want. Uh, you can, this does, like I said, come with a 700 watt power supply. So you probably don't need to uh, switch that out, but it is available to switch out if you need to. So we decided to choose the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super uh, to install into the Razer Chroma eGPU. So to do that, it's very simple. Again, no tools. There's a thumb screw on the side. Take out the back plate. Insert the video card into the slot and replace the thumb screw. And then plug in the power for the video card. All right, and you're all set. Now you can slide the inside back into the case, close the lid, and you're all set. The reason we went with the Razer Core-X Chroma eGPU is because we have the Razer Blade 15 Advanced laptop. Now this laptop does come with the 2070 Super card that does have three outputs, but most laptops will only have a single video out, possibly two. So in order to run alpha key and or fold back, you'll need more outputs. The Razer Blade also has the integrated Intel graphics. It has a 10th gen i7 2.3 gigahertz processor and 16 gig of RAM, and is also running the newest version of Windows 10. For the I.O. ports on the laptop, the right-hand side has the HDMI out, a USB 3, and a Thunderbolt 3 port. On the left-hand side is the power port, two USB 3 ports, a USB-C, and the audio and mic port. You can also customize the Chroma RGB on the keyboard for the laptop, 
and sync that with your eGPU. Connecting the eGPU to the laptop, the first thing we want to do is plug in the external monitors to the eGPU. From the monitors, we have an HDMI cable and a DisplayPort cable. So we'll go ahead and plug those in. Then, plugging the eGPU into the laptop, we're going to use the Thunderbolt 3 cable. At the bottom of the eGPU, next to the power, we're going to plug in the Thunderbolt 3. And then on the laptop, on the right-hand side, we'll plug in the Thunderbolt 3 to the port there. The laptop will detect the eGPU is plugged in, and then we should get the display on each monitor. Once we get the displays, we'll go into the Windows display settings, and we can see that we have all three monitors available here. Once we have all three monitors available and we're extended to those displays, we can open Easy Worship, and we'll check our options under the Edit menu, and make sure our output monitor is set to the correct monitor, which we have on monitor 3 at the top, and our foldback is set to monitor 2. Click OK, and when we play a video, I'm going to go to the Media tab, select a video, and go live. And we have our video playing on our extended monitors through the eGPU. We wanted to show the difference between the integrated Intel graphics card performance versus the eGPU 2070 Super Performance while running a video in Easy Worship. So we have our video playing in Easy Worship. We're going to look at the task manager under performance and see that our GPU is running at about 39, 40%. If we look at Easy Worship, we can see that it's using 18 to 20% of the GPU. In contrast to using the 2070 Super in the eGPU, I'm going to show you the performance of the integrated Intel card running a video in Easy Worship. If we look at Easy Worship, it's using the Intel graphics and it's running at about 50, looks like about 50%. If we go to the performance here, we can see the entire Intel card is running at about 77, 75 to 77%. So it's using a lot more graphics uh, processing for from the integrated Intel card uh, than we were using with the eGPU. This is where you can run into problems running an integrated card, especially with higher quality videos. Uh, they're not going to perform as nearly as well as if you're running an external GPU. We did look at a couple of other eGPUs on the market, the Razer Core X and the Sonnet Breakaway Box. And from our research, we found the Core X Chroma to have the best performance overall. Here are some of the basic comparisons. The Core X is $100 cheaper, comes with a smaller power supply at 650 watts, does not include any extra USB or Ethernet ports or RGB lighting. The Sonnet Breakaway Box is about $150 cheaper and weighs about half as much as the Razer eGPUs. It also comes with a smaller 650 watt power supply and does not include any extra USB or Ethernet ports or RGB lighting. All of these eGPUs use the Thunderbolt 3 port to connect to the computer, utilizing the full 40 gigabits per second transfer rate as opposed to the 10 gigabits per second for USB-C. If you'd like to do some more research on your own of eGPUs, we'll post a link in the description below so that you can find the best eGPU for your church. We'll also post in the description below a link to compatible video cards that you can add to the Core X Chroma. My name is Dan. If you like this video, be sure and subscribe to our channel. Click the like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I hope this video has helped make your worship easier. Thanks for watching. Thanks for choosing Easy Worship.